So, it's amazing how smart bumblebees are. Despite having brains the size of a poppy seed, these little insects have incredible intelligence. Recently, researchers discovered that bees have emotions and might even be sentient. For example, they can show signs of anxiety in scary situations, like a simulated predator attack. They become hesitant and cautious, even avoiding perfectly safe flowers. This indicates they might have feelings similar to what we call emotions. They can also feel discomfort and pleasure. Scientists train bees to associate colors with rewards and surprises. When the bees got a surprise treat, they acted happier and more resilient. Hey, don't you? They also put bees in situations where they had to choose between discomfort and rewards. The bees showed they could weigh the options and make decisions based on what they felt. This suggests they might experience discomfort, just like we do. They can even display complex emotions, like optimism, frustration, and playfulness. And these are not the only surprises bees showed us. Bees are more than just honeymakers and pollinators. There are over 25,000 different species of bees worldwide, each with its own unique lifestyle. They live in a sensory world that's totally different from ours, seeing things in ultraviolet and polarized light. They can even sense the Earth's magnetic and electrical fields. This helps them figure out which flowers have already been visited by other bees. A big moment in bee evolution happened way back in the Jurassic period. Their ancestors decided to switch from wandering around to settling down in nests. This change required them to remember the location of their home base, or else they'd be in big trouble. So their brains adapted, and certain areas grew larger and more complex to handle all the new information. And now, millions of years later, they've turned into incredibly smart creatures. They can even solve math puzzles. Boy, I could've used some bees in middle school. Yeah, that's right. Bees seem to grasp the concepts of addition and subtraction. Researchers set up special math mazes, shaped like the letter Y, for the bees to navigate. Instead of using numbers or symbols, which bees can't understand, they used colors. Blue meant add one, and yellow meant subtract one. The bees had to choose the right path based on the colors they saw at the beginning of the maze. After some training, where the bees completed a hundred trips through the mazes, they seemed to get the hang of it. Then came the test. The little insects got the correct answer more often than not, better than what you would expect by chance. This doesn't mean bees are doing complex math in their heads, but they might have flexible brains that can learn new tasks, even if they don't use them in the wild. They also showed an understanding of the concept of zero. Scientists trained them to recognize the smaller of two numbers. They showed the bees pictures with different numbers of shapes, rewarding them with sweet sugar water if they chose the picture with fewer shapes. But if they went for the picture with more shapes, they got a bitter taste of quinine. Yuck. Once the bees got the hang of it, the researchers introduced a new option, a blank picture with no shapes at all. And the bees chose the empty picture over images with two or three shapes almost half the time. This suggests that they understood that zero means less than two or three. In further tests, the bees showed they could tell the difference between one and zero. This might help them keep track of predators or find food sources more efficiently. And if bees can understand zero, who knows how many other animals out there can do the same? Not only can bees learn and remember new things, but they can also teach these things to each other, just like we do. Scientists set up a tricky puzzle box in a lab and trained some bumblebees to solve it. First, expert bees figured the puzzle out. Then, they taught their clueless buddies how to crack it. Turns out, not only humans can pass on knowledge in this way. In another experiment, bees were given a puzzle to solve over several days. Despite having plenty of time to crack it, they couldn't do it without a little human help. But once they saw the solution, they were quick to catch on. It's also discovered that if there's a super genius bee in the group, its clever ideas might stick around and shape their societies for generations, surprisingly similar to humans. Even behaviors we thought were purely instinctive, like the famous honey dance, seem to be influenced by social learning. Be 
Monkeys can even be taught to use tools, a skill previously thought to be limited to certain mammals, birds, and other creatures. They devised a test where bees had to move a tiny ball to the center of a platform to get a sweet reward. Bees don't do stuff like this in the wild, so biologists had to teach them. Using a plastic bee on a stick, the researchers demonstrated the task to the bees. After a few days of training, the bees began dragging the ball to the center all by themselves. And once again, they showed other bees how to do it. What's interesting is that they didn't just copy blindly. When faced with new situations, they improved on what they had learned, choosing the most efficient route to success. For instance, when given a choice between different colored balls, the bees picked the one closest to the center, even though they had been trained with different conditions. This shows that bees aren't just following instructions, they're thinking and adapting to new challenges. Now, we used to think of bees as a homogeneous workforce. It's a huge hive mind, where everyone is tirelessly serving their queen. But this view is also being challenged by fascinating new research. Turns out, honeybees have distinct personalities. For example, some bees are more adventurous, while others prefer to stay close to the hive. A small percentage of bees, known as nest scouts, exhibit a thrill-seeking behavior by venturing out in search of new hive locations. These brave scouts are not only more likely to seek out new nest sites, but also to engage in food scouting. And there are huge differences in gene activity in the brains of scouting bees compared to their non-scouting counterparts. The brains of scout bees showed heightened activity in reward systems. That's where their preference for novel experiences comes from. It's very similar to novelty-seeking behavior in humans and other animals. Sometimes, their personalities are even shaped by their memories and previous experiences. Some bees even showed signs of PTSD. So, in the hive, bees choose their jobs based on their personality traits. They can also be trained to detect any smell. They have a huge sensitivity to volatiles, and thanks to that, they can even detect diseases. Bees were trained to associate the scent of infected samples with a sugar water reward. With repeated exposure, the bees quickly learned to extend their tongues in response to the scent alone, without the need for a reward. Thanks to that, they were able to detect infected samples within seconds. This worked with both mink and human samples. They showed very accurate results in distinguishing between infected and healthy samples. Now, we're trying to scale up this innovative approach and develop prototypes of machines capable of automatically training multiple bees simultaneously. This technology has the potential to serve as an effective diagnostic system, especially in low-income countries. And there are many more things bees can do. They can learn while sleeping, which means they can dream and see dreams of things they saw during the day. They can also remember human faces. They memorize unique features and can recognize them through repeat interactions. In one study, scientists paired images of human faces with sugar water and found that bees recognized and remembered faces associated with the sweet reward, even when the reward was absent. This also helps them to recognize each other and return to flowers that produce more pollen. So, what does this mean for us? Well, if it's true that bees actually feel emotions and have some sort of sentience, this changes how we should treat them. They're already an endangered species. Now we should treat them with much greater care. So, be careful around the bees. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.